Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Today is Wednesday, March 24th. It's a beautiful day. It was a little bit uh, rainy this morning when we woke up, got the kids off to school. I have been working on a project in the garage. Um, it's an add-on mudroom, which is appropriate for this time of year. Um, it was actually intended to be ready for the winter time uh, to help with um, kids gear, farm gear, um, not ending up in the house, but be staying out in this garage. Um, as you can see, we built a farmhouse, a two-story farmhouse. And uh, when we decided to build and plan this house, we already had our four kids. We knew um, that we would have a lot of um, outdoor gear making its way into the house. So we built a, a pretty large entryway foyer. Um, but as you know, living on a farm, um, when you come in with farm boots, muck boots, um, those seem to be chaff catchers. Um, if you're feeding hay bales or putting out straw, those muck boots get a lot of chaff in them. And then when the kids come in, it was ending up in the entryway. So we quickly decided that we needed an add-on mudroom. Uh, this a detached garage was a perfect place. It has a large uh, high ceiling. And uh, we've, we've got a lot of stuff that we needed to make room for. Um, and we wanted to add storage on top of this. So this is a multi-purpose mudroom. And uh, I've been working on a little locker system. I'm gonna show you a video montage and then I'll meet you back into the mudroom and uh, talk a little bit about it. So enjoy the video. All right, guys, here we are in the mud room. The dimensions of this room are 10 feet by 20. And I put the eight foot locker system on the long wall on the 20 foot wall. So we don't have a lot of space here to get a, a backed out uh, view of it. So this is the best view that I can get. We've got one window that I'm standing in front of here to make this video. Um, it, it's pretty much almost a finished product, guys. I've still got a couple of pieces of trim board. I wanna put one underneath the bench and two small one by three trim boards uh, on these faces here. You can see I've hung up my coat and that is what we built this room for to keep all of our heavy winter and farm gear out of the house and out here. Um, I wish I had had it done for this winter. Uh, the winter wasn't that extreme this year and it was a little bit shorter. So anyways, I worked on this room throughout the winter and uh, it's nearing completion, so we'll be ready to rock and roll when the when the snow flies for next year. But uh, yeah, real quick, um, we've got one by eight pine boards for the uh, walls for the interior in here, and then we're gonna skin the outside of these, the exterior walls uh, from within the garage. We'll just use sheeting or uh, some type of a T one eleven, and uh, we'll paint that. We've got storage on top for our seasonal gear, um, lights, Christmas decorations, and whatnot. 
We've got a freezer and a refrigerator in here for our overflow from our beef, pork, and egg sales. Um, yeah, it's just a nice feel in here. We've got, a, we've got it heated with a small plug-in heater. Keeps it about 68, 70 degrees. Uh, we haven't seen a significant rise in our electric bill, so that heater is working out great. If that changes in the future, then we can always, um, because we've got two exterior walls, we can add in a, a direct vented propane heater and uh, keep this place toasty. Uh, I've used, from the video, you can see that I've used styrofoam for these exterior walls and two by six um, batted insulation for the walls. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a cozy room and it's gonna definitely serve its purpose. All the kids' boots can be stored underneath, hats and gloves in the uh, wicker baskets that we've yet to buy. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you the project that I've been up to. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll catch you next time.